The large-scale mining industry has not always been as we know it today. The enormous mining equipment we know originated decades ago, when brands were just seeking to achieve maximum operational efficiency, creating increasingly larger equipment. Thanks to this, we know some machines that laid the foundation for what currently seems so commonplace. We are talking about the Terex Titan, a mining truck that was ahead of its time, but which would become the standard for modern large-scale mining. In the early 1970s, the growth of mining operations was evident. This caught the attention of many companies, which focused their efforts on creating highly specialized equipment for heavy-duty tasks, such as transporting hundreds of tons of cargo. However, the General Motors company was already a step ahead, refining the details in the development of one of the first super trucks for open-pit mine operations through its heavy equipment division, Terex. The intention behind this gigantic machine was to completely change the standards for ultra-class trucks for earth moving, with the firm idea of becoming the equipment with the highest load capacity on the market. At that time, there were already mining trucks that offered payloads of up to 200 tons, with models like the Wabco 3200. But what the General Motors company sought, with its newly named Terex Titan, was to exceed 320 tons of payload, something simply amazing when compared to the Caterpillars of that time which only supported loads of no more than 55 tons, like the Caterpillar 773. To achieve this, its construction had to be at least equal to the challenge. This mining truck was produced with a rigid three-axle chassis and a diesel-electric powertrain. Regarding its dimensions, it reached about 20 meters long, 8 meters wide, and 7 meters high, which became 17 meters when the cargo bed was raised during discharges. As for its gross weight, it was around 231 tons, so its combined gross weight was approximately 550 tons, equivalent to about 420 Toyota Corollas, and being able to travel at a maximum speed of 48 kilometers per hour, or something like 30 miles per hour. One of the most outstanding aspects was its peculiar engine. To move such a vehicle along with such immense cargo, it was necessary to use an EMD 645 locomotive engine, turbocharged, with an intercooler and electronic injection. This engine provided its colossal 3,300 horsepower directly to an AC alternator, also from EMD. This generator in turn distributed direct current through a rectifier to the four D79CF electric motors, one in each of the four pairs of rear wheels. Likewise, to be able to move efficiently, the Titan used power steering for all wheels, which had tires with a 1.1 meter tread and a 3.6 meter diameter. While the front wheels are responsible for most of the displacement, moving in a 71-degree arc, the eight rear wheels could also move up to a maximum of 10 degrees on each side. This reduced the turning radius from 50 to just 30 meters, something very useful when thinking about narrow open-pit mining operations. After leaving the GMC Diesel Division factory in London, Ontario, Canada in 1973, the only prototype produced also known as the Terex 3319, was presented at the American Mining Congress in Las Vegas, Nevada in October 1974. Almost immediately after, in January 1975, GMC managed to position its prototype within the fleet of the Kaiser Steel Company, operating in its iron mine in Eagle Mountain, California. The brand's intention was to promote the projection they themselves had about these mining trucks, as they hoped to start with the mass production of the 3319 with the idea of launching it on the market at an initial price of $1.5 million in 1976, which is equivalent to $8.6 million today. However, precisely in California, they encountered their first stumble, experiencing frequent downtime compared to other models of mining dump trucks with which it competed. Even so, the Terex Titan managed to transport approximately 3.5 million tons of earth over the course of the almost four years it remained in service in this iron mine. This was enough for the project not to stagnate, and by the end of 1978, the only unit built was sent to Sparwood, British Columbia, Canada, to operate in an open pit coal mine. Curiously, when the mine was acquired in 1983 by Westar Mining, the 3319 lost its characteristic lime green color to acquire the yellow and blue colors of what would be its new owner as the mining company itself decided to stop renting the mining dump truck to formally buy it from GMC. This purchase was made for an amount close to $200,000 at that time, 
which is equivalent to more than $650,000 today, along with a batch of spare parts valued at $1 million, which is equivalent to $3.2 million today. Although the Terex Titan was challenged by carrying more than 400 tons in special conditions, demonstrating that it was a very capable vehicle, the crude reality quickly hit GMC, making it clear that neither the niche for which it was designed nor its design itself would lead to mass production. By the end of 1970, coal exploitation began to crumble, thus losing the market they had so cautiously envisioned. By not being able to offer a truly considerable profitability, the project was simply terminated, delivering the few remaining orders of other models in the Terex 33 series, leaving the Titan as unique in its kind. In 1991, the mining company finally ceased operations of this enormous dump truck, with the last nail in its coffin being the transfer of the mine to the company Tech Resources Limited, who flatly ruled out its startup for heavy load operations. It should be noted that this same company was the one that, in 1992, offered the Titan 3319 to public or private organizations for its preservation, with the intention of converting it into a tourist attraction as if it were a public monument. Finally, the Sparwood Chamber of Commerce, the place where the enormous dump truck performed for many years, managed to raise enough funds to restore and exhibit it, recovering its iconic lime green color but losing its gigantic engine in the process. Currently, its resting place is the Titan Park in this community in British Columbia, Canada. Although it might seem like a local attraction, the reality is that for 25 years it held the title of the largest and highest capacity truck until the Caterpillar 797 snatched this title after its debut in September 1998, with a payload capacity of 330 tons. Today, the enormous lime green chassis lies motionless in a park dedicated to its legacy, although it is no longer capable of transporting the tens of tons it easily displaced in its golden age. It continues to carry hundreds of stories and the inspiration that has moved generations to keep looking forward. While its story did not culminate with the commercial glory that General Motors Company imagined, the Terex Titan 3319 managed to leave its own mark on the history of the mining and logistics industries. Its magnificence has become a sign of how decades ago, progress was measured big, being a Titan not only for its size, but for its tireless pursuit of efficiency, innovation, and technical progress.